What's up everyone, it's your boy Matrix coming back at y'all again with another video. Thank y'all for the support and for the subscribers and for the comments. Just want to let y'all know real quick that GamingRealm.com is hiring and I'll leave it down, the link down in the description down below for y'all to go um, to the site and read up on the requirements and stuff. But we're hiring for dedicated writers, people that love the industry and you know want to take it to the next level. Um, we'll have all informations um, on the site and I'll leave it in the link down in the description and you can email me um, at gamingrealm at gmail.com if you need uh, if you want to find out more info on it alright so let's get off into the matter at hand alright now y'all know I had to make a video talking about this because I love Nintendo and Nintendo is the backbone of this industry they're the forerunners okay they're the, like the fathers of this industry and it 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 boils me up because it's like you're struggling as a company, okay? And I'm just gonna say the topic right now. Nintendo will be skipping the E3 stage once again. This is not good. This is not good. Because when you're a company, presentation and appearance means everything. When it comes to a conference, Something like E3 and big events like E3 and, and um, CES and PAX and appearance is everything. Appearance and presentation goes together. They go hand to hand. It's like a marriage. They go hand to hand together. The last time Nintendo had an official conference on stage at E3 was 2012 when they introduced us to the Wii U. Ever since then, the Wii U has been going downhill. Why? Because they're not marketing the system correctly. They don't have enough games coming out for the system. They try to um, advertise the system to be this kind of third-party system when it's really not. You know, Nintendo is known for their their first-party games like Mario and Zelda and so on and so forth. But the fact that you're not having an E3 press conference on stage that is a big no-no. I don't care about y'all having something on video. That means nothing to me. That means nothing to me. You have to be on stage with a presentation to tell the world that, hey, we're back and we mean business and we're going to start having more faith in our product. Having more faith in our product. Because when you're a company, you put something out there, you have to have faith in it. And I'm, talk I'm talking because I'm a Christian and I have faith in Jesus Christ. So at the same time, you have to have faith in your, in your product and know that it's going to be successful. And Nintendo, they're starting to step their game up because Smash Brothers is coming out. And there's going to be another video that I'm going to have up um, after this video talking about the, the Smash Brother. Uh, tournament that they're going to have. It's called Tourney at E3 2014 at the Nokia um, uh, uh, Center or whatever. They're going to have a tournament there. I'm going to talk about that afterwards. But what I want to talk about is the stage presence. Stage presence means everything to the world. When you can stand on stage and tell everybody what you've been working on, it, it's it's real huge. It's real huge when you can do that. It's it's big, bigger than life because you can uh, come out on stage and let everybody know, hey, this is what I've been working on, guys. This is what Nintendo is doing. This is the direction that the company is heading. It's cool and all for you to make a little video saying, okay, hey guys, um, this is what we're doing, whatever. No, man, it's not. It's not it doesn't feel right. And you're having a digital event again. Last year, y'all did the same thing, and people was pissed off. Say Nintendo don't have a freaking traditional conference like Sony and Microsoft did. Now they're coming out this year, E3, which we're going to be there. Me and Shokyo, we're going to be at E3, and we're going to give y'all wall-to-wall -wall coverage of everything that's happening on the E3 floor and on everywhere else. Ubisoft um, 
conference, Activision, all the publishers, everybody. We're going to give y'all wall-to-wall coverage on everything that's going on. But Nintendo, presentation means everything. Appearance means everything. I cannot stress that. No more than I'm already stressing it. And you have to show out. Now you have to show out. It's either show out or go home. Nintendo, look, Sony is already winning this right now. They're in the lead. Sony cannot do anything wrong right now. They're doing everything right. Everything right. Every, anything that the gamers want, they're giving it to the gamers. Microsoft, not so much. But at least they have enough sense to have a traditional conference on stage. Because people can see them, they can interact with them, they can have an interview with them. Come on, man. It's a lot that goes hand-to-hand -hand with that. I'm a journalist. I'm a critic. I've been a journalist since 2010. I've been going to E3 ever since then. And I love to see companies on stage. I love to see companies on stage. But the fact that you're not going to be there another year and you're not going to be there and your company is struggling the Wii U is not selling as much I think it would be really smart for y'all to actually come out on stage Nintendo and show the world that we want to look y'all in your eyes to make sure that you're doing the right thing presentation and appearance means everything everything it means everything and y'all gonna do another digital, another digital conference again. Nintendo Tree, uh, Nintendo Three, uh, what's this? Treehouse live at E3 this year. E3, Nintendo will offer fans a deeper look at Nintendo's biggest games of E3 with information directly from the source. The Nintendo, the sorry, the three, the the Treehouse. The product development department at Nintendo of America will provide in-depth game demos live and on script from the Nintendo's booth. Nintendo, sorry, from Nintendo's booth. This new program will be live stream during all hours of the E3 show. Fans can get settled in, open their browser, and experience. I don't want to open my damn browser. I want to be able to see y'all at E3, be able to interview y'all, and it's really sad. This is a slap to the face to, to Nintendo fans. This is a slap to the face to people that love this industry. Nintendo, come on, man. Come on. Y'all got to do better than this. Y'all have to do better than this. Once again, y'all going to be doing a digital video program, and this, this program will air what? 9 a.m. Pacific time on Tuesday, June 10th. So that's when the uh, the the official digital event that Nintendo is throwing together. It will be Tuesday, June 9th. I mean, sorry, tu Tuesday, June 10th at 9 a.m. This is really sad, y'all. Y'all gotta leave in the comments and let me know what y'all think. But presentation and appearance means everything to us. We're gamers. We're journalists, we're critics, and we love everything that y'all do, especially Nintendo. You have to take the throne back. Take the throne back because it's not looking good right now. Only one company right now is doing everything right, and it's Sony. Why? Because they sacrificed a lot. So, uh, Sony is doing everything right right now. Nintendo, not so much. Microsoft, not so much. Only thing that's saving Nintendo right now is because they came out with that, with that, um, the Smash Brothers Direct. And everybody got excited again. And then Mario Kart 8 is coming out. You know, y'all, y'all starting to come out with some of the games, but there's a gap in between all the games. And it, this is crazy, man. Like, y'all gotta do better than this. I am sorry, but y'all have to do better than this. This is really sad. I'm going over nine minutes because I'm upset. Presentation and appearance means everything. This is not good, Nintendo. This is not good. Not when your your company is struggling financially, and your Wii U is not selling, and your marketing sucks, and Iwata is fighting for his job. It's, it, it is crazy, man. There's so much stuff going on. Now, Iwata wants to 
take Nintendo and, and, and try to do the best he can with Nintendo. Or whatever is going on right now with that. But all I'm saying is presentation and appearance means everything. And this is really sad. I'm going over 10 minutes, y'all. I'm very upset. Leave in the comments and tell me what y'all think about Nintendo not being at E3 2014 once again. They're not being at E3 again. They're not be doing a traditional stage presence and presentation. And I want to really know if this is how they're going to continue with this. This is really sad. Don't forget, y'all, that we're hiring. And if you want more details, I'll leave the link down in the description down below. You can click it, read it, and email us, um, gamingrealm at gmail.com, or leave in the, the message box down below. Like this video, subscribe, and give me y'all feedback, y'all. I love y'all. Appreciate it. I'm coming right back at y'all with another video. Peace. Okay.